represent the introduction part of experimentary. Acetyl acetone is the simplest of the B diketones. The presence of B carbonyl groups with at least a proton on the intermediate carbon allow a ketone inner tautorism to be operative in B diketones. The molecule acetyl acetone exists in two forms, the ketone form and the inner form. The inner form is a weak acid and after removal of a proton, it exists as the conjugate base acetyl acetonate. The anionic form is a ligand capable of binding two positions in the inner coordination sphere of a metal ion, forming complexes in which the ligand is bonded to the metal through both oxygen atoms to form a cis membrane. So we call this ligand as bidentate. A metal complex containing a bidentate or polydentate ligand is often called a chelate. In general, the metal acetyl acetone complexes are neutral and have attractive bright colors. So the objective of this experiment were to synthesize and characterize of aluminium and copper acetyl acetonate complexes. Moving on to procedure for part A which is synthesis of aluminium acetyl acetonate complex. Firstly, 3 gram of acetyl acetone added into aluminium flask. Then, distilled water added followed by ammonia. The solution was allowed to stand for a short time. In the meantime, hydrated aluminium sulfate dissolved in ice cold distilled water. The ammonical solution of acetyl acetone added to the aluminium sulfate solution in small portion with continuous swirling. After that, the pH checked using blue litmus paper. The resulting precipitate suction dried. Next, a portion of crude sample recrystallized from cyclohexane. The resulting crystals left to suction dried and then dried truly in air. For part B, synthesis of copper acetyl acetonate complex. Hydrated copper 2 chloride dissolved in distilled water. Next, acetyl acetone in methanol added dropwise. Constant stirring maintained throughout the addition. A solution of sodium acetate added and then the mixture heated on a hot plate with continuously stirred. The mixture left to cool and then cool in an ice bath. The resulting precipitate filtered off by section. Next, 1 gram of the dried crude product, methanol and 2 to 3 anti-bumping granules added to a flask. A small filter funnel placed in the neck of the flask to serve as a reflux condenser and then boil on a water bath. Methanol added and the solution reheated and then left to cool. Lastly, the crystals were filtered off by suction, washed with some cool methanol and suction dry. was divided into two parts, which were synthesizing and catheterization of aluminium and copper acetyl acetonate complexes. For the first part of experiment, hydrated aluminium sulfate reacted with ammonica solution of acetyl acetone to form a yellowish precipitate of complex. Aluminium metal ion can form six coordination bonds with ligands, thus the geometrical structure for aluminium acetyl acetonate complex is an octahedral shape. During synthesis of aluminium acetyl acetonate complex, the pH of the solution was tasted and ammonia solution was added until the solution became neutral or just basic if the solution was found to be acidic. This was to ensure that the hydrogen ions formed from the aluminium pre-pass ion and acetyl were completely removed. So the complex form was neutral. For this discussion part 2 which is copper acetyl acetone, the heating of copper acetyl acetone was carried out in the water bath because boiling point was very low and evaporated easily. Then the solvent was placed in an ice bath to recrystallize these two complexes so that recrystallization quickly takes place. So the percentage yield for copper acetyl acetone was 81.43% which is closer to perfect. Lastly, for the conclusion, we have two products. The first one is aluminium acetyl acetone, which is a white solid with 1.8 gram. Then the second product is copper acetyl acetonate which is blue solid with 5.0 grams.